Hi everyone, my name is Amy Martin and I'm the president of the Gawa Arts Council. Uh, welcome to our third week of our Read Aloud series. Um, this will be our last week, but it's also going to be, I think, a really cool week. We have um, four different guest readers that will join us this week. Um, and I hope that you enjoy uh, watching somebody else tell a wonderful story. Um, and then I will finish us off on Friday. So let me uh, just give you a little uh, heads up on the lineup. So we have um, today, what we're going to share in just a minute is uh, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I almost forgot for a second. <laughs> Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Um, and that is going to be read by Melissa Bates. Um, then tomorrow, we are going to have Gigi's Yellow Garden. And that is going to be read by the author, um, Adam Peterson, which I'm very excited about. Uh, then on Wednesday, we're going to have Pete the Cat in the Super Cool Science Fair, and that is done by Sherry Wood, uh, the, one of our, our lovely Galva librarians. Um, and then on Thursday, we're going to have Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, and that's going to be read by Stephanie Taylor, another Galva Arts Council member. Uh, and then, like I said, I will finish this up on Friday with A Color of His Own. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Um, I'm really excited about having some guest readers. I think that might change it up a little bit, make it a little more fun. Okay, so to get started, um, so give me a second here and I will share my screen. So um, this is a video that we will watch of Melissa Bates um, reading Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Um, she also created all the cool graphics that we're going to see. So I think you guys, or at least put it all together. Um, so I think you guys will enjoy this. I thought this was super cool. Uh, so give me one second here. Oh, hold on. Technical difficulties as always. <laughs> Give me one second. There we go. I see it now. Okay. Let me make it big for you. And here we go. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Hi friends, it's Mrs. Bates. And I'm going to read you Goldilocks and the Three Bears by head first. Once upon a time, there were three bears, a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a little wee baby bear. One day, mama bear made porridge for breakfast. Since it was too hot to eat, they went for a walk in the forest while it cooled. While the bears were gone, a little girl named Goldilocks came to the bear's house. Even though no one answered, she opened the door and went inside. When Goldilocks got into the house, she saw the three bowls of porridge. Yum, porridge, I'm hungry, she said to herself. First, she tasted the porridge in the big bowl. Too hot, she said. Next, she tasted the porridge in the middle-sized bowl. Too cold she said. Finally, she tasted the porridge in a little bowl. Just right, she said, and she ate it all up. When the porridge was gone, she went into the parlor. She found three chairs. First, she sat in the great big chair. Too hard she said. Then she sat in the middle-sized chair. Too soft, she said. Finally, she sat in the little wee chair. Just right, she said. But suddenly, the bottom fell out and she found herself on the floor. Goldilocks was feeling sleepy. So she went upstairs to see if she could find a place to rest. She found a room with three beds. First, she lay down upon the big bed, but it was too high up the head. 
Then she tried the middle-sized bed, but it was too high at the foot. Finally, she lay down in the little wee bed. It was neither too high at the head nor too high at the foot, but just right. She felt fast. The three bears returned home, ready to eat their breakfast. Somebody has been eating my porridge, roared Papa Bear. Somebody has been eating my porridge, said Mama Bear. Somebody has eaten my porridge all up, cried Baby Bear. The three bears went into the parlor. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, roared Papa Bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Somebody has sat right through my chair, cried Baby Bear. The three bears went up to their bedroom. Somebody has been sleeping in my bed, roared Papa Bear. Somebody has been sleeping in my bed said Mama Bear. Baby Bear looked at his bed. Somebody has been sleeping in my bed and there she is, cried Baby Bear. Baby Bear's voice woke Goldilocks at once and she saw the three bears. She jumped out of the bed and ran out of the bear's house. The bears never saw her again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. that. On adapted mind oh, to learn hold on a second. Rewards. I didn't pause it. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, that was once again Goldilocks and the Three Bears, read by Melissa Bates. Um, so now on to our craft for today. So today, to go along with uh, the Three Bears, we are going to make a paper plate bear paw. Oh yeah, a paper plate bear paw. <laughs> okay, so give me a second here and I will share my screen again. There it goes. It went pretty smooth today. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. And actually, I'm going to switch this a little too so you can see me. Hey, there I am. <laughs> okay, so this is what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need two paper plates because we just said there's a paper plate paw, right? So once again, I'm using my, my lovely yellow ones I have, which are going to be okay because I'm going to turn it this way so you won't see the yellow. <laughs> Okay, so there are my two paper plates. Um, and they can be little like these are, they can be bigger, whatever size you got works, okay? Um, you're going to need some glue. You're going to need a black crayon, a pair of scissors. And now the next one, um, you can have two options. You can either have, if you're like me and you happen to have a stapler at home, you can use a stapler. Um, or you could use tape, okay? And then last but not least, you need black paper. And I just am using a piece from um, one of our other crafts where I'd already cut a little bit out. I saved it so that I can use it again today. Okay, so to get started here. Oh, you know what? I got the wrong crayon. <laughs> Are y'all wondering why do I have a black crayon? I did grab the wrong one. I think black was in my head because of the construction paper, but I needed a brown crayon. Sorry about that. <laughs> we all make mistakes, don't we? Yes. So we needed a brown crayon. Okay, so got you two paper plates. So if you're, whether it's tape or staple, um, you might want to, slide in, I don't know how you can see this, slide in your hand here 
And you know, I've kind of got a bigger hand than you might. Um, but I'm just kind of thinking, hmm, I want to be careful when I staple so that I leave room when it's all done that I can slide my hand in to make a paw. So I'm kind of seeing that, okay, I gotta leave a decent amount here. So I think I'm gonna start right about here and I'm not gonna staple all the way around. I am using a stapler. Like I said, you could use tape. I'm just gonna go every so many places here. Same with your tape, you could do the same thing. I'd say about like that. I'm kind of going halfway is kind of my logic just because of my hand and I want it to be able to go in it. Okay, um, so just halfway here, I'll show you here, see? <laughs> um, but you might, your hand might be smaller, so you might need a couple more uh, pieces of tape or staples um, to make sure it, it stays on your hand. Okay, now I also kind of dented my, my plate a little, so I'm gonna pop that out. Okay, there we go. So what you're gonna do, now, if you want to, I'm just gonna show you one side today. Um, because it's going to be the side of the paw that you would see if someone were to hold it up. Um, but you also could, if you wanted to, color the other side. And what I would do is I would just color it straight brown like I'm going to do on this side. Okay, but then on this side, after I'm done coloring it brown, I'm going to add some things. But I wouldn't add them to that side. Okay, just straight brown. Now, an, a twist too, um, if you uh, either didn't have a brown crayon or didn't want to use a brown crayon, you could of course use a brown marker. And maybe if you happen to have some paint at home, you could also maybe use some brown paint. Okay. All right. Now, because this is a decent size, even though I got a little plate here, it's going to take me a while. So I'm going to kind of do this quick. It might not be perfect, but I just want you to get the idea. So all I'm doing is just gonna color all of this as best as I can brown. And I'm being kind of quick just because it's gonna take me a while <laughs> and I don't want you sitting there all bored. Now you can see a little bit of my yellow plate based on my stapling, but that's okay. Once again, we're not perfect and we're just having fun. Okay, right, well, I've got my edge there. All right, now this might be a little tough to get. See, there's like a little lip on the plate. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get that next. I hope you really liked that very cool way of telling the story of the three little bears. I have to say, I was pretty uh, impressed when I saw the cool little video for the first time. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Um, it makes me wanna see if I can attempt to do something like that. <laughs> I probably could, but it might take me a while. I hope you enjoyed it. I thought it was, it was pretty cool in a different way of, of telling a story. I got at least that. And as you can see, this is not perfect. You can definitely see white where I'm coloring, can't you? But that's okay. I'm not trying to be perfect. And maybe if you do this on your own and you could pause the video or or whatever, you might, or you know, later finish it, you might have more time to color it in a little bit better, then you just go ahead and do so. I'm just doing what I can so that we can see the whole process on the video. Okay, okay, getting pretty good there. Oh, I tell you this though, and I don't know about you if you're doing this right along with me, but my arm is starting to hurt. <laughs> it's a lot of coloring going on. Like I said, I have the little plates. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. Maybe I can consider this my exercise for today. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, once again, not perfect. We can definitely see white through it, but you get the idea, right? Okay, so we colored it brown, of course, because a bear's paw, well, I shouldn't say all bears, brown bear's paws are brown. Now, maybe you might want to use a black crayon because maybe you might want to create a brown bear, or I'm sorry, did I say that wrong? I did, a black bear. Okay, so we're creating a brown bear. You might want to create a black bear, so you might want it to be black. Okay, it might be a little trickier to see what we're going to do next, but maybe then instead of black construction paper like I'm going to use, then you can maybe use brown construction paper. So you just need to, whatever color you color here, use the other color for your construction paper so that it shows up. Okay, oh, the other thing I forgot that we're going to definitely need, and I'm going to once again use my pen here, but a pencil or a pen, okay? I'm using my pen because if I used a pencil to draw on this black paper, it's going to be very hard for you to see. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to move the, the paper plate over to the side for a second, okay? And I'm using this because I need to make the paw, I need to make the prints on the paw, right? So if you've ever seen one, there should be, we're going to make a kind of decent sized um, circle for the, the middle part of the paw and then three smaller ones that go above it, okay? So, once again, I'm not tracing anything, I'm just drawing it the best I can. It's not perfect. If you wanna find circled things to trace to make it look more perfect, go for it, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so, I think I'm just gonna come down here where I got some room. Okay, what I'm thinking. Let's see, here's the other thing I gotta think about is based on my plate here, is that gonna be too big? And I'm kind of thinking it might be. <laughs> so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna flip it over. Isn't that the awesome part of the paper? You got two sides, I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm just gonna go a little smaller. I think actually maybe that will be better. I think I went too big. Now, if you had bigger paper plate, what I drew before might, might be perfect. But for my smaller plate, I think I need to go smaller. Okay, so here is this. Oh, I apologize if you hear the noise going on outside. Something is driving by and it's very loud. <laughs> okay, so I've got my circle here. And then I'm just gonna draw this like it looks, just so when I cut it out and glue it on, it's gonna look right, okay? So I told you I need three smaller circles, right? Okay, so one, two, three okay and that kind of looks like a paw right and when we cut it out and glue it on we're going to put it in a similar position so that it looks like a paw okay so now comes scissors time to cut it out always cut to the best of your ability doesn't have to be perfect Now I'm cutting just a tad bit inside my line just because I know on the back side is going to be where I made my mistake <laughs> and I want that to be glued down. So I'm trying to cut inside the line so that hopefully there will be no line showing on this part on the front side. And that's something you have to do, but just because I made a boo-boo, it's what I'm gonna do. And especially because I used a purple marker or a purple pen, um, it, it would show very easily. Now, if you maybe just used a pencil, you might not even have to worry about it because you might not even be able to see it very well, as long as you can see it to cut it, right? Okay, so there's my big one. Now I'm gonna cut my little one. Once again, I'm kind of going a little in here. I might not have to. I'm not sure what's on the other side. <laughs> But just in case I am. And I know, guys, it is so hard for me to show you cutting. So sometimes you're not gonna see it while I'm cutting because it's just really hard to angle it with what I'm using. Okay, almost got this one done. Okay, so there's one of my little ones. And now I'm cutting out my second little one. Okay. 
When cut in circles, you gotta turn your paper a lot, don't you? Yeah, you can't keep it steady. You gotta keep moving it, but you can cut a circle out. All right, there's that one. Number two, I got one more left. As you can see, my circles are not all the same size because once again, I did not measure them to make sure that they were. You could do some folding of some paper if you really, really wanted them to be the same size. I know you might say, well, wait, I know you can do that to make two. How would you do that to make three? Well, you'd have to fold your paper a little bit differently. Instead of folding it in half, um, you, well, you could do a couple things. You could fold it in fours, in four pieces, four folds, um, and then you'd have four of them, not that you need four of them. Um, or, and this might be tricky for my little ones, but maybe an adult could help you. You could try fold your paper so that you have three um, and just draw one and then cut it out and you would have three. Um, so whatever would work for you. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my, my scrap black paper here aside because I'm all done with it. I have my pieces that I need right here. So now comes my paper plate again. Now I need to remember where my part is for my hand. Because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna hold it up like this. If you see that on my, my screen there. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up like this. So I need my big circle here and my little ones here. So I need to think about that when I lay it back down, okay? So I'm gonna take my big one, I'm gonna grab my, my glue, and we're gonna glue it down. Oh, my glue's being silly. Now this time I know I didn't, I didn't uh, not clean out my glue. I remembered to clean my top off last time. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be patient, huh? Okay, so I'm getting just enough on here so it sticks. Move that baby out of the way. My pieces. Okay, so you see that? Okay, I'm gonna set this right here, kind of basically right where that opening is, where my hand is gonna go. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my three little ones and I'm gonna place them right here. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go just a little higher, I think. Okay. So you can see I'm not quite in the middle there, a little more lower than a higher, I guess. And I'm gonna put my dots, there's one. There's two, so one more, right, to make three. And there's dot number three. Once again, obviously not all the same size, but I bet you can tell now that that looks like a paw, doesn't it? Okay, so then all I have to do, and you might, you might wanna wait until your glue dries before you really put your hand in it and do it, um, but just because I don't have that time, I'm going to go ahead and do it just to show you. So I'm just going to very carefully slide my hand in, and then I'm going to bring it over here. Let me actually stop sharing my screen so you can see it a little bigger. There we go. And there we go. There is my paw. Okay, I just slid my hand right in, and there it is, my bear paw. Now, of course, we know bears, well, technically, bears have four of these, right? But maybe you might just want to make two so that each hand would have one. So you just do the exact same thing and make another one. And then each hand would have one and you could pretend you were a bear. You can maybe even go rah, right? Like a bear. <laughs> okay. So that is our, our uh, read aloud for today. So I hope you uh, enjoyed um, the, I keep forgetting, I keep wanting to say Berenstein Bears because we did the Berenstein Bears book a, what, a week or two ago. So I keep wanting to say that instead of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, but that's okay. So I hope you enjoyed Goldilocks and the Three Bears um, and making your paper plate bear paw today. All right, thank you very much for joining us. Um, remember, these are free events. Um, so, you know, no cost to them, but if you would like to donate, you can always go to our Facebook page, sorry, and click on the donate button. Um, or you could always send a donation to our PO Box, which is PO Box 29 in Galva, Illinois. 
Um, also remember, uh, you can always catch all of these videos from um, the last two weeks. And then as these go on, we will also add these onto our uh, YouTube channel. Okay, and just go to YouTube and search Galva Arts Council and it should pop right on up for you. And that way you can watch them whenever you want. Or you could also just watch them on our Facebook page. You just have to scroll down and find the one you want to watch and click on it and watch it. Uh, thank you again for joining us. And then a uh, friendly reminder for tomorrow. So tomorrow is uh, Gigi's Yellow Garden. Um, and that is going to be read by Adam Peterson, who is the author of Gigi's Yellow Garden. I'm very excited about it. Um, Adam is actually somebody that I went to school with. So um, I think this is going to be really cool. And I think everyone's going to enjoy the story. Um, so we'll see you tomorrow. And have a great day. Bye, guys.